today's video we are back at the range with the shadow systems dr920 and today we are going to be testing out the timney alpha gen 3 4 trigger let's get started all right one thing i wanted to mention before we get started with this I was having some reset issues with the silver spring and we talked about that in the installation video that I did before this one. So I did go back and put the reddish pinkish spring in it for the aftermarket connectors. On the bench it felt a lot better so we'll see how it goes. All right I want to apologize for the wind noise out here today but I'm on a deadline with this gun and I got to get it back to the owner so we're just gonna have to deal with it. The ammo we're gonna be testing today is uh Winchester 9mm 115 grain, just some standard white box, cheap bulk ammo, and I brought out 100 of my Summit City reloads. We are not going to be testing any hollow points today because this gun's for competition use only. He probably will mainly be running 124 grain or 125 grain bullets, and I just want to see how it's going to run with some bulk ammunition. So these are our two test rounds for the day. All right, we're gonna start out with the Winchester white box. We're just using a factory Glock 17 mag. Got 17 rounds loaded in this. I do not know if the dot still zeroed. We're gonna find out right now. I'm assuming the dot was off during the Cerakote project. So hopefully it's on. If not, we'll make the adjustments. All right, here we go. It's the first shots with the Timney Gen 3-4 Alpha Trigger. Okay, we're not getting a reset. All right, we were having some reset issues there with the first few shots. The group's not real good. I got to get warmed up here. It's a little windy out. Hopefully this is going to work itself out. That reset was weird. I was having to let all the way off. One time I even had to push the trigger forward. So we're having some definite reset issues here. All right. I'm shooting like shit today. These were where I wanted them to go. But I got some up here. Hopefully as the day goes on, these groups will get a little better. All right, I got another 17 rounds of the Winchester white box loaded. See how she runs. Damn reset again. All right, so that last round, it wouldn't reset. I had to let my finger completely off the trigger and it reset. So it's getting better. I don't know, maybe it needs broke in, but so far I'm not a fan of this trigger. All right, so there was that group. Still a terrible group, but it's better than the last one. Hopefully they'll keep getting better. All right, this time we're going to shoot some 124 grain Summit City bullets. These are my reloads that we talked about. See if these run a little better. All right, here we go.
Bring them all. All right, we got another terrible group, but it's the best one I've shot yet. But the main thing is, the trigger in the gun is working fine now. All right, we got another 17 rounds of the 124 grain reloads loaded up. Go ahead and try shooting this now with a pair of gloves on. See how it does. All right, here we go. Ran them all. Still grouping like shit, but trigger's breaking in good now, I think. All right, got another full mag of Winchester white box. See how it does. Fed them all. It's starting to run really good. All right, there was that group. Getting a lot better. Got a couple flyers up here, but this is the best group yet. Trigger's running great. Real happy with everything now. All right, I got a couple USPSA targets set up. One over here on the left and one on the right. Go ahead, just transition back and forth. Two shots in each target. Move two shots, move two shots. See how it goes. All right, we got another uh, magazine full of the 124 grain Summit City bullets. See how we do here. Got them all. All right, this was our target on the right. We had uh, six in the A zone, two Charlies. All right, this was our left target. We had uh, we had seven Alphas, two Charlies. Not too bad. All right, I decided to come back and finish out this review in the studio here the wind out there at the range was crazy it messed with the audio all day so i definitely didn't want to do my final thoughts on this trigger at the range so we came back here to do it with that being said what do i think about this trigger this is the best glock trigger i've shot but that's not saying much i'm not a fan of glock triggers they have a purpose you know i get it they're a duty carry gun and they work perfect for that Competition wise, if you're going to use a Glock, this is probably the best trigger you're ever going to get for a Glock as far as Gen 3 and 4 goes. 
I have not used one of these in a Gen 5 yet, so I don't know how they are. Now, comparing this trigger to, say, the Walther PDP, the Q5, or the PPQ, the factory trigger in all three of those Walthers I just mentioned are still a better trigger than this Timney and this Glock. And same can be said about the Canic trigger and the TP9 SFX or the Rival or the Meta. The factory trigger from that company still better than this trigger in this Glock. So, if you have a Glock or Shadow Systems or a Gen 3 variant of any Glock, this is probably going to be your best option for a trigger. I do like it. Like I said, best Glock trigger I've ever shot. But comparing it to a Walther or a Canic, still superior trigger over this. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.